unpaired image style transfer is a popular technique in computer vision where we take the content from one image and the style from a completely different image and produce a combined output. Today I want to share an AI that also does style transfer but not for images. This AI performs style transfer for motion of 3D characters. At first, it wasn't immediately clear to me what content versus style meant in the context of motion, but the difference is pretty simple. Consider these three doodles, all of them showing the animation of a guy walking. The guy in the middle is clearly looking happier than the other two, and the last guy is looking pretty depressed. The happy and sad part of the motion is what we call style of that motion while the walking animation is defined as the content. Now that we understand the meaning of the two, let's take a look at today's paper. It is titled Unpaired Motion Style Transfer from Video to Animation and is published at this year's SIGGRAPH conference by researchers from Beijing Film Academy. They present a framework to transfer style of motion from a video to a 3D character while preserving the content of the source motion of our character. This makes it very easy to programmatically add a specific personality to our animated character with almost no manual work required. They are using a style encoder to extract the motion style from video and a separate content encoder from the 3D body points, which are then combined and fed into the generator. In addition to the adversarial loss of the GAN framework, they are also using a triplet loss and a content consistency loss, which ensures that the generated output motion is smooth and natural looking with temporal consistency. This method also allows us to interpolate styles with latent space manipulation and the observed results are fantastic as you can see here. In the last 2-3 to three years, we have seen tremendous advancements in automatically creating animations with very little time and efforts. This work makes it just that much easier to do such with the help of deep learning and I can't wait to see what's next.